On this lesson here, somebody asked me how to stand up, stand and fight like the positioning. Now, a lot of things need to understand to be aware, yeah? You normally stand anything else, chin down, basic rule, hand cover your face, the light is show, so you don't get knocked out, and then hand in a good places, leg in line, so you can be able to make in contact like you're training as same as you're fighting. But sometimes it's not as simple as that because your opponent changing. Okay, so tell him, for instance, if he, if, he, if he stand up fighter, I'll be here, then he punch, then I'll be fine, okay? It's a stand up fight, that's fine, okay? Now, because I'm here and here, of course, I can get used to the line and he's making a contact, foot coming in, body coming in, all this basic movement, I cover. My chin is in, so if I'm here, if I hook, if I have my hand like this, see, I cover, so I'll be okay. So the idea is I want to my hand to be covered like this, okay? Basic movement like this to get you to the straight hook in line like this. Now certainly he start to go high and then he start to low for instance. If he come in like this now, he shove. Now because my leg like this, my body like this, I got straight away pick up and I got me fall down the ground. So the position of standing, it all depend on your opponent come to you, okay? So if I'm first, I'm stand up. Like if I go like this again, it's no good. Okay, it's no good for me, okay, because I cannot use any of my tool, my arm is in wrong places, I can't use any movement. So I have to be marching uh, where he stand, roughly like this, and I have to be like this, because I'm able to receive all this attack coming in, okay? So my leg like this. Now, certainly he changed, I have to change, okay? Now, if he's trying to come and grab me, you see, come and grab me, his leg very spreading low, I have to get my body low like this, wide, lower. So now he came, it's a little bit harder for him to try to pick me up now, okay? And because it's harder, when he came in inside, okay, inside harder, my hand is here, so he picked me up, and it's easier for me to control him by my hands raising like this, okay? So my leg is wider. So when you're in this kind of movement to attack, if I'm staying there all the time, it's a big problem, okay? So you have to be adaptable. Now. If he coming in and he quickly shoot right down and uh, like uh, this kind of, yeah. Now become a big problem, okay? Now we move very quick. So we're making contact here and this comes right in now. Now the big problem. So he certainly moves so rapidly into you. Because your body very high, it's easy for him to drive you up, okay? It's easy for him to drive you up like this, drive you up. If certainly when he came in that, if you see the distance he came in, and you are aware, this is all to do with dynamic movement. You're trying to understand uh, the movement, aware of what's going on. You low your body right down. When you come in, you low your body right down. It's a little bit harder for him to come in, okay? So when he comes here, low your body right down. So difficult for him. Even I'm here, pick me up. It's a little bit harder, you see? It's a little bit harder for him to try to pick me up from there. Do you understand me? Instead of here, it's a little more easier for him. Okay, so you need to get use your leg to lower them down. Now to lower your leg down, you have to train. You have to train in this kind of environment all the time. Because if you don't, then when certainly when he attacks, you can't just lower like this because he's too quick for you. And your hand have to be aware of where they are. Now another thing as well you need to understand. All this positioning you get into, high and low, low center of gravity, you're going down. So when you get your stand in position, it's a stand up. So you stand up, you're in line like this, you, you do all the stand up. Then you get used to, see? So when he came in, go one, see? So you get used to leg wider. Now if he do single leg, he can do single leg, and I'll be down, okay? So it's not that straightforward, it's perfect. The idea is, if I'm here, and he do single leg down, I've got problems. Okay, and then I can able to smack and boom to the face. Okay, I can able to survive some of the, 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 the basic stuff. But if I come in here, if you do a single leg down, I go like neck like this, for instance. I, the neck like this, for instance, and I, when he grab before in down, I will go with him. Okay, I will go with him, then become a little bit harder for him now because I'm gonna grab hold his neck. So the basic of this. When you practice on every kind of thing, that Ju Jesu Su and, and, and uh, JJB, all of this ground stuff, they have their own way of uh, preparing the fight, of uh, preparation the fight, of all sort of different things. So the most important, the important thing you have to understand is if you're doing street stuff, you have to be prepared. You have to prepare and understand how your body in line and what good position you're in. Now, good position you're in, I mentioned before. 
stand up like this to matching him okay to matching him and if you go down you need to go down if you grab leg you need to move with him to make sure that he not gonna able to break and get your leg and then try to deal with them okay so your body have to flow with it and secondly you got to use in your body to work properly meaning try to get in the right places so if he came in and he coming down like this i got to get my head hand in the right places because if you got my leg poor i got a problem straight away okay so i need to grab his goddamn eye the like the, the fish hook shove in his eyeball and just pull them out because i got no choice or if you are compromised and you're coming down here, you're coming down, you pull straight away, you're down with it. It's another compromise. So your knee, make sure they're up first, okay? Hand to the nut here, and then you're gonna play dirty with him, okay? Because you can't not try to do in the movement and try to, uh, try to wrestling and try to do the movement because you try it on the floor, your bum, your bum cheekbone is gonna be broken because you try. Another thing is why when he coming in, he tries so hard, yeah? Boom, he whole body, he whole body uh, drive into my body in here. Boom, like this. Okay, it's a shock. It's a certain shock into my uh, my, my rib case here. It's already broken before he put it on the ground. Okay, so this is so dangerous when you're not in a preparation uh, line and understand. So to avoid all this, when he came in, it need to drop, need to using this your hand as you're doing upstairs. If you're doing here, when he came in. It, Keep it low like this here. So that way, he's drive the elbow into him. Yeah, like this, okay? To control him more. Because if you try to keep your hand, and then he, now he drop it in, the It's literally, the shoulder will go in, Your ribcage broken. Before you go down the floor, you're literally out, okay? So the standing, the positioning of your standing for each of the movement, you have to prepare and understand each thing. If you don't understand the hand, if it made a mistake here, boom, your broken chest. That shocked you already. And then what happened, he grabbed your leg and he just ripped hard, fast, bam, and your head fly down the ground straight away. So then your neck is broken, okay? This is important. So when you're doing this high thing here, need to be safety. Hand position first, keep in line. When he came, drop your body right down. Drop your body right down like that. If you change the single leg, it's both grab with this, make sure you bring it back, you see? So we grab from here, if he from, here, go up and play. Now you bring it back. Now you'll be in good position a little bit to control them. Elbow, elbow, grab it, cut that eye, rip it off, and dealing with him. Okay, thank you for that. So, again, we go back to the basic rule. Don't play fair when you get in a situation like this. If you get in a situation like this, you're more likely to get messed up. And learn to understand about position your hand. Stand up, hand, chin in, hand cover your face like a shield, like we cover with the basic line here talking about. Basic positioning, keep in there, and then go from there. Because if you're not, you will have a big problem. So spend some time to practice, and if you like this kind of thing here, then subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy know how to take you down the ground and break your neck, you're gonna have a big problem. If anything you want to know, ask me down here, and I will be here to answer all your questions. Spend some time, I will see you on the next lesson.